There are signals from distant celestial bodies that have not yet reached us. For years, scientists have been trying to learn about the structure, composition, and history of our universe. There is still much mystery surrounding this, but thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we have just discovered something at the edge of the universe. This discovery changes everything we thought we knew about what is located at the edge of the observable universe and who created it. Famous physicist Brian Cox believes that this discovery simply breaks physics. Scientists have been facing similar challenges for centuries, especially when it comes to studying the universe. They have been trying to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, starting with the most basic question of all, how did the universe come into being? To answer this question, scientists need to explore the edge of the universe and study its oldest objects and formations. However, there's a problem. The equipment required for this task is beyond human capacity. It's like trying to build a tall building without a crane or bulldozer. But don't lose hope just yet, because the James Webb Space Telescope is here to save the day. The James Webb Telescope employs infrared light, invisible to the human eye, to observe the universe. By detecting faint light emitted by ancient stars and galaxies, this space-based telescope fulfills the long-awaited dreams of scientists like Brian Cox. Its unique vantage point allows us to peer into the distant reaches of the cosmos, reaching back a staggering 13.5 billion years ago, a time when the universe itself was just about 13.7 billion years old, with the James Webb Space Telescope soaring through space. Our understanding of the universe and its galaxies expands as we search for the light emitted by the first stars and galaxies that emerged after the cataclysmic event known as the Big Bang. The JWS serves as a powerful tool in the study of galaxy formation, evolution, as well as the intricacies of star and planet creation. It enables researchers to investigate planetary systems and delve into the origins of life itself. To fully grasp the significance of JWST's orbital position, it is necessary to comprehend the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe refers to the portion of the cosmos that we can observe and explore using space telescopes and their sophisticated instruments. Shaped like a vast sphere, it encompasses all matter that can be detected from Earth or from telescopes situated in space. The objects within the observable universe come into view because their electromagnetic radiation has had sufficient time to traverse the immense expanse of space and reach our solar system and ultimately Earth since the onset of cosmological expansion. According to scientific estimates, the observable universe may contain up to an astonishing two trillion galaxies. It is dubbed the observable universe due to the inherent physical limitation imposed by the speed of light. As no signal can travel faster than light, there exists a maximum distance, often referred to as the particle horizon, beyond which our instruments cannot detect anything. Consequently, there are signals from distant celestial bodies that have not yet reached us, leaving a realm of unknown galaxies shrouded in mystery. For decades, our understanding of the size of the universe has eluded us, with some even speculating that it may be infinite. This lack of certainty stems from the fact that certain regions of the universe lie too far away for the light emitted since the Big Bang to have had ample time to reach Earth or our space-based instruments, placing them outside the realm of the observable universe. While it is anticipated that in the foreseeable future, light from these distant galaxies will have traversed sufficient distances to render certain regions more observable, we must exercise caution in our optimism. This caution arises from Hubble's law, which states that regions sufficiently distant from Earth are receding from us at speeds exceeding that of light. Additionally, the expansion of the universe appears to be accelerating, driven by an enigmatic force known as dark energy. If dark energy remains constant, it could impose a future visibility limit beyond which objects would forever be barred from entering the observable universe. This is due to the fact that light emitted by objects beyond this limit will never reach Earth. In order to address this predicament and gain insights into galaxies residing in the observable universe whose light has not yet reached us, scientists devoted years to the development of the James Webb Space Telescope, widely regarded as the world's most versatile optical telescope. What has JWST observed at the frontier of the observable universe? Despite JWST being initially slated for a 5.5-year primary mission, 
NASA scientists didn't have to wait long before the telescope astounded the scientific community with yet another groundbreaking revelation. JWS has uncovered the existence of four primordial galaxies at the boundary of the observable universe. This remarkable discovery was made by the James Webb Space Telescope through the employment of the photoelectric method in 2022. These ancient galaxies were positioned so incredibly far away that the light they emitted had completely shifted into the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. You might be wondering why we are only now becoming aware of the existence of these colossal galaxies. The answer lies in the fact that JWST is the sole telescope capable of detecting the infrared light emanating from these distant galaxies. In naming these four galaxies, NASA scientists wasted no time. Further examination of their spectra substantiated the initial estimates, confirming that the galaxies were less than 500 million years old. The oldest among them came into existence a mere 320 million years after the Big Bang. Follow-up studies have revealed that these galaxies thrived during the epoch of reionization, a crucial period when the first stars illuminated the cosmos. Compared to the Milky Way, which boasts a mass of 1.5 trillion solar masses, these galaxies were relatively diminutive, weighing in at a mere 100 million solar masses. Despite their modest mass, the galaxies displayed an active process of generating new celestial bodies, with numerous stars forming on an annual basis. This particular aspect of the discovery was a significant revelation for scientists, as previous models had suggested a lower rate of star formation during the reionization epoch. What distinguishes these four galaxies are their elongated configurations, with stars stretching from the galactic centers to their outer disks, reminiscent of our own Milky Way. This discovery has compelled astrophysicists and astronomers alike to reassess their theories of galaxy evolution. While scientists rejoice in the wealth of new knowledge brought by the discovery of galaxies, their thirst for understanding the universe remains unquenched. In 2023, their aspirations were met when the JWST detected a remarkable find. What appears to be six colossal ancient galaxies, these celestial entities, dubbed universe breakers by astronomers, have shattered long-held conceptions about cosmology, injecting fresh vigor into the pursuit of knowledge. Analyzing the data acquired by the telescope, scientists have determined that these galaxies are extraordinarily ancient, tracing back to a time when the universe was a mere 3% of its present age. The revelation of these six galaxies has irreversibly shattered preconceived notions of galactic proportions. As Joel Leisure, an assistant professor at Penn State University, reveals, these findings far exceed expectations, defying the assumption that only diminutive, nascent galaxies would be encountered at this stage in cosmic history. We initially anticipated stumbling upon diminutive, youthful galaxies, but instead, we have uncovered fully matured galactic structures akin to our own during what was previously thought to be the dawn of the universe. In comparison to the four galaxies discovered by the JWST in the summer of 2022, these newfound cosmic giants are significantly larger. In an attempt to comprehend the existence of these colossal galaxies near the edge of the universe, scientists are compelled to reevaluate their understanding of how the first galaxies emerged from minuscule clusters of stars and cosmic debris. This paradigm-shifting revelation has cast doubt upon the prevailing narrative of early galaxy formation, as Leisha remarks, provoking a reassessment of the entire panorama of astronomical comprehension. Who could have fathomed that scientists would chance upon such unforeseen phenomena that challenge the very foundations of our knowledge? The emergence of these ancient galaxies defies existing models, which propose that following a period of rapid expansion... The universe underwent a cooling phase lasting hundreds of millions of years. This cooling period allowed gas to coalesce and collapse, giving birth to the first stars, while galaxies began to form during the enigmatic dark ages. However, the discovery of these enigmatic giants has taken theories about the dark ages on an unexpected trajectory, prompting researchers like Dr. Emma Chapman to reevaluate previously held tenets of astronomical understanding. 
According to Dr. Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham, the recent discovery of colossal galaxies shortly after the Big Bang challenges the notion of the Dark Ages being a dim period. It suggests that the universe might have experienced a profusion of star formation earlier than previously believed. These findings were made possible by the initial release of data sets from the James Webb Space Telescope. During the examination of the images, Dr. Erica Nelson, an academic at the University of Colorado Boulder, made an intriguing observation. She noticed a series of indistinct dots that exhibited an unusually intense brightness and a distinct reddish hue. In the realm of astronomy, the redder appearance signifies older celestial objects, as light traveling through the expanding universe gets stretched out or redshifted. Nelson and her fellow scientists deduced that these galaxies are approximately 13.5 billion years old, implying their emergence approximately 500, 700 million years following the Big Bang. Nevertheless, Chapman maintains that further observations are necessary to validate this discovery before fully revising existing models. Given the rapid pace at which the JWST has been revolutionizing theories and previous findings, it wouldn't be surprising if these new findings turn out to be accurate in due time. In their quest for more comprehensive information, scientists are planning to acquire spectrum images, which can offer precise distance measurements and enable better estimates of the galaxy's mass. But how did the James Webb Space Telescope come into existence? Initially referred to as Next Generation Space Technology during its six-year development phase, the name choice was hardly a surprise, as NASA aimed to surpass the achievements of the Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990. The JWST's success story is an inspiring one, starting with the commissioning of two concept studies in 1990 and culminating in a potential launch scheduled for 2007. However, the telescope's development encountered significant cost overruns and delays, leading to a major redesign in 2005. Ultimately, it consumed a staggering $10 billion before its completion in 2016. While the development of the James Webb Space Telescope is often attributed solely to NASA in media reports, it is important to acknowledge the invaluable contributions of other partners. The success of this groundbreaking program is the result of a collaborative effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Managed by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, GSFC, in Maryland. And we can actually look so far out that we can see almost back to 13.8 billion years ago, which is very close to the Big Bang. And to make sure you don't miss out on anything mind-blowing happening in our universe by subscribing. Thanks for watching.